uh, Coach, where did you feel like it really went off the rails? Yeah, probably the sixth. I th felt like at 8-3, um, it was 7-3, I believe, in the fourth, and we had the bases loaded and hit into a double play. Um, felt like we were we were fine there. Uh, credit their relievers. They executed some pitches that made it hard on some guys for us that have been swinging the bat really well. And that was a, a killer, the double play, when we had the bases loaded when it was 7-3. But still, we felt okay about it, which is, you know, why we sent Gavin back out to the mound. Um, you know, looking at it um, at 8-3, we went to Bryce because he pitched well against them last year, and it was largely the same lineup. It's almost identical, you know, a lot like ours. You know, and that's why we're both here. It's two really good teams that have old players that generally play the game the right way. Um, and he was good in his first inning. He wasn't good in his second, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. Okay, Leah. Natural question is: Is Paul Skeens available tomorrow, and who else might be available tomorrow to pitch? Yeah, I mean, as I talked about last time, um, we do a process to figure that out, which we'll do, and uh, that doesn't take place until day of game. Um, so, yeah, we have to do that with with all of them. I mean, you're going on game eight in ten days, so um, we have to be mindful of of all that, and uh, we will be, and. Uh, We'll see who's available. Okay, let's go back to Matt here. Matt Marinas, White and Blue Review. I apologize for ignoring your warning last night and looking at it the wrong side of the fence, but this is 30 runners left on base in two games. I'm wondering if you're seeing a trend that concerns you in the quality of the at-bats that you're having with runners in scoring position. You know, I mean, I'm sure, I guess, I mean, but I don't really know how to answer that. I mean, we're the best offensive team in the country, and when you lead the country in on-base percentage, you're going to leave more runners on base. Um, I feel uh, part of the credit has to go to the pitcher at times, and I think it was uh, Purnell did a nice job, you know, inducing the ground ball for the double play. Um, but, yeah, we uh, we got our guys. You know, we're not going to bring in a bunch of free agents for tomorrow night. It's a 27-man roster, and I'm good with that. I'm totally good with that. Okay, we have... Question back here. Thanks, Claire. Uh, Jacques Doucet, WAP TV. Coach, I noticed the, the meeting with the team after the game was brief. Is it just a case you're not going to talk much about this game and immediately move on to tomorrow? Or? No, we, we actually we just chose to do it in the locker room. It was a long day out there and uh, not a great day. And so I want to get them out of the sun, get them back to the hotel. Um, there's a real uh, physical grind of this thing that you know some of these guys are going through. And so we want to get them – uh, hydrated, rested, um, out of the sun, and, and get a full day and a half to recover. For us, playing a day game to a night game is almost the equivalent of an off day because we haven't had many of those here, and that's a good thing for our team. Okay. Wilson. Jay, uh, Jordan Thompson had those two uh, tough errors early. Do you plan to stick with him, and how do you go about coaching him through that? Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll play tomorrow. There's no question about it. Um, he started every game for two years. Um, he's played very good shortstop uh, this year. I think the simplicity of the first one is, you know, on a double play ball, we call it it's a sure man and then a quick man. The guy that fields the ball has to be sure he's going to catch it and then feed it to the second baseman and then let the second baseman be the person that's, that's quick. I think he came up too early trying to do too much. Um, you know, they put some pressure on us, you know, to with – first and second nobody out and um so that's just a coaching point of staying securing the first out and then on the second one it's just a case of trying to do too much and um you know trying to wheel and, and back pick I'm, I'm not really sure where he was throwing it to be honest with you and so you coach on those two points and um yeah I mean I love Jordan we wouldn't be in the college world series you know without Jordan and how he's played this year um he's had a tough tough tournament offensively um but there's been a lot of stories in the college world series of guys struggle 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 and then get a big hit for you and uh make a big play for you and um i think he's a great candidate for that okay brendan back here brendan Prizman, omaha world herald coach you mentioned that you haven't yet decided whether or not skeins is going to be on the bump tomorrow whether or not he is how are you and your staff planning on taking care of the mistakes like the errors and the walks that sort of plagued you guys defensively today 
Yeah, you get a complete reset. I don't know what our field and percentage in the NCAA tournament was going in today, but I'm guessing it was pretty good. Um, you know, we're not in a place where we're going to go out and hit a bunch of ground balls on the concrete and, and those types of things. We need to get these guys rested, get their bodies underneath, you know. And um, for us, you know, it's about playing in character. And, um, you know, when I look at these this record of, you know, Florida's 54 and 16, they do a good job and they make it hard on you. We're 53 and 17. And if you're 53 and 17, you've done a heck of a lot more right than wrong. And so um, we're going to stick to how we prepare and um, roll it out tomorrow and give it everything that we have. You know, it's one game for the national championship. I think Coach O'Sullivan probably feels great about his team, you know, as he should with the players they have. I feel great about my team with the players that we have. I'll go to Kofi here. Uh, Co uh, Coach Riley with the advertiser. Uh, Coach, w with Jordan, do you think he's just pressing too much mentally? And, and w what do you need to do to sort of um, help a guy get through those sort of struggles? Yeah, I mean, you know, trying to do too much is not a plan. And, uh, you know, so we, we'll continue to help him with that. Um, I feel like his at-bats last night were much better. Um, I think he's played good defense here, really good defense until today. Um, I actually don't think there's been any – carry over between offense and defense and at his position along with catcher you have to play the game that way and I'm proud of him for for doing that so we're just gonna coach him and get him ready to go for tomorrow okay Michael this will be our last questions for Jay uh are uncharacteristic losses this lopsided easier to get over to get through to get past or are they all the same you know I <laughs> It, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I've had a super regional game relatively similar to this, and then we turn the score around on the team in, in game three. You know, um, it happens all the time in our league, you know, in two out of three series, which is like a super regional college world series game. It's obvious. I mean, you know, I mean, look at look at the two teams that are playing. They're the two best teams in, in college baseball. And um, yeah, I, I won't give it any thought. You know, I mean, would I've liked it to been different? Yeah, I think we were prepared to play at the beginning of the game. And then, you know, we asked Nate to get out there and give us everything he could. He really emptied the tank four days ago. He didn't, didn't quite have it the same, you know. And then Gavin, I mean, let's be honest, credit Evans for getting the swing on it, but that ball would have easily been foul had the wind not shifted, but the wind shifted. And if I could fix the wind the way that I wanted to, I'd probably be doing different things, a lot of different things. But uh, really excited about tomorrow night, and um, I believe the players are too.